Redeemed pastor resigns to become shown off for Boma Show. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Pastor Gandhi Olawoye, the lead pastor at the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Jesus House, D.C., Washington, USA, has relinquished his position in view of his imminent emergence as the next Sean of Ogboma Show, a first-class traditional ruler in Oyo State. He confirmed it yesterday and he has relinquished his position as the lead pastor. A reliable source told, a reliable source close to the pastor, Larry, told the podium media on Friday afternoon referring to pastor's lawly nomination and selection as the shown elect. The former son of Obama Obama Shaw Oba Jimo Oladuni Oyewumi Ajagung Badi the third joined his ancestors in twenty twenty one. Fondly called Pastor G, Pastor Gandhi Olawoye is reported for his leadership and relationship management skills. He was born and raised in Nigeria. He has a degree in English language and a master's in industrial and labor relations. He was a successful entrepreneur before the call of God came upon his life to become a pastor. He has been pastoring since 1992. He pastored three houses in churches in Nigeria and one in Bonn, Germany before moving to the United States. Pastor Gandhi is passionate about helping others to develop to their fullest potential. His experience traveling and speaking internationally has shaped his commitment to showcasing the ministry where people of all racial and ethnic groups worship God in a loving and caring atmosphere. He is currently the coordinator in charge of the Convention and Special Project for RCCG North America. He is happily married to a pastor Omo, who also played a key role in running the affairs of a church. She is the founder and pastor in charge of the Jesus Women Ministries, a ministry that addresses pertinent issues. Okay. Okay, it is not a crime. God has been using him as a pastor. He will continue to use him as a king. Well, Sincerely, he's going there to make a difference. He's going there to make a difference. He's going there to make a difference. Whether that's we're going to come out and condemn this act, I'm saying he's going there and people are watching him. In fact, all eyes on him, all those things you used to preach and pull, pull, let us see how you can put them into life. Let us see how you're going to make use of them. Let us see how that is how it will be going everywhere. So you should understand that this thing is a greater call. This is a thing of that thing that you used to preach on your altar for so many years. Now, it is being put to you to walk the talk. I hope he's going to do it in a very majestic way so that, you know, um, those who are watching him can also emulate. Yes, it is it's a sign for you to leave, you know, you preaching by your mouth or by words and you're living your life and you're wanting people to emulate it. There are many traditional rulers for Christians that will not compromise their faith in spite of sitting on the stool. They refuse to perform the rituals which are not intended with their beliefs. God has a purpose for everything he does. Exactly. Placing the Christian on that stool is for a purpose. The new show needs prayers to enable him to remain firm in his belief by showing whatever will make him a devil. Okay. I'm just asking. And the pressures involved in king making which is steeped in traditional religion in agreement with Christian practice. I'm just asking. Well, me myself, I don't, I can't really say. Good question. All right, a protocol. It is meant to be suspended, not that he vowed for this. They want him and they will agree to his request. So a man of God, a pastor is not chosen by any four oracle to be king. How ironic. Well, well, well. There are some traditional rulers in Nigeria that are doing well for the Lord to you. Exactly. If you still want to remain a Christian with his position, that is possible. It is very, it is going to be kind. It's not going to be rosy, but as well, it is possible. We need no more men of God in the corridor of power, be it traditional or political, so that reform can be very easy to carry. Exactly. Thank you, sir. While people are coming to condemn him, I'm saying, look, he has a call. Oh. The call he's going to answer here is even great. If you go jabber for a year, huh, it's not going to be funny. If he's very strong in Christianity, he would not just on the Lord when he has for a worldly title. The pastor cannot make heaven, of course, he no. All along that he was just wasting his time like the rest. Really? You want to say the pastor will not make heaven because of what? <laughs> Transformation from pastor to a traditionalist means from the one of your nation, you are not far from the secular traditional practice and diabolism. I'm a prophet from such background. 
I will live as a prophet and die as a prophet. Nothing like retired pastor or prophet must gauge in calling for traditional school is here. Say the circumference of what value and integrity should be considered. Hmm. Some Christians are ignorant. They lack knowledge because they will not attend Bible study. They only go to church on Sundays. The foundation of the strength of Israel today is through the righteous king of dead and anointed by God. Pilate asked Christ, Are you the king of the Jews? He answered, Thou hast said it. Now, if another Muslim is chosen as the shown, Christians will say they want to Islamize Nigeria. What's it been a problem? So, my brother, they matter me. They matter me. It is not his fault. Someone posted a few days ago that the Deeper Life Fast was going to be made the next shown of a woman show. <laughs> my God. This is actual demotion from real priesthood to traditional real life. Very pathetic. I don't see anything demotion here. I see him walking the talk. That thing you have been saying people should do. That thing you have been saying uh, people can do. People are now waiting for you. Congratulations. This is a good omen for Gumasha people. As they now have a pastor that shall me. His reign be peaceful in Jesus' name. Amen. No, oh, we hope so. We hope so. Hmm. Hope you're not going to have another Naomi story at the end of the road. Could this be God or not? Only two people could answer this question accurately. The pastor involved and the living God that created him. I hereby rest my case. Here is the man of God now, knowingly and without duress, being led into an unholy matrimony with the devil. This pastor knew the ramification of belonging to the traditional institution of worship. Yet, because of a transcendent glory of a throne, he is deceiving himself. That's all is well. It is easy to quote what will profit a man to get this world and miss heaven when you are poor and nothing is at stake with the throne at stake. Prince Gadi will regain, rather gain this world. Hmm. All this one you're saying, you're saying on your own accord. Though. And this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.